Can you pray for us? My lady, it's almost seven. What's happening to office? So you can spend 30 minutes to prepare breakfast for me? I was in the office at six. What's the shop so cool? Iowa! Iowa! Yes? Iowa, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'll see you later. Uh, boss, where did Mr. Wai lucky? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Don't worry, I'll be fine, okay? But, Madam say I should prepare something for you before. And I'm saying I'll be dressed fine. She's supposed to do that herself. And she, if she's not doing it. But she said, I should take care of you. That's what she said, but I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'll get something on my way to the back. Ah, boss, that's what you want to offer. I mean, what I'm telling you is, if she's supposed to do it that herself, if she's not doing it, it's before I get it outside. All that I want you to do is just take care of the house. We are going in, okay? okay. Thank you. Well, see you, Daniel. All right, thanks very much. so many reasons but none of them that I've got an opportunity to get you don't cook for me you don't wash for me and even if I want to make love to you it becomes a problem I want to know what, is it a crime to make love to my wife? I can make love to you for even just 10 minutes and I'll be okay. I can't also sleep. So what do I do now? I worry, me worry, one of If I so bad, I was Am I supposed to always beg my wife for love? And even if I do it, I don't even get it? Look at the time. I'm still trying to make love to you, and you are still rejecting it. So, what is the answer of me getting married to you? Mavis. No, I, I can't control myself to weekends. We can make love for about 10 minutes. Let's make love. Oh, Azay! Please. Azay, you're so sorry. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, I can't be a son. Ah, I'm going to bring you to my council for a son. If you ever. Ah. I'm going to bring you to my son. 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 With this mood of yours, even if you give me the chance, I can't even enjoy it. I can't enjoy it. I hear. Now I know. Now your questions and the answers which have been 
never follow me is answered. You are cheating on me. Thank you. Come on. No way. That is none of your business. I'm going to drink. Tomorrow what you are going to do is this, you are going to pick a car and then you go and then pick up babies okay. and then you leave for Sunyani. So don't come to the office in the morning. Okay, thank you. I'm talking to you, you're walking out on me. I'm talking to you, it has gotten to that level. In now we need to say your appointment there, we have to go and meet our doctor. You are here telling me you are going to work. I'm casual saying, a client in front of each other. On the court now. I'm going to meeting. They can't wait for me. Can go there tomorrow or something. We should meet the doctor on Sunday. Why did you, do you always listen to yourself whenever you talk to me? Meet my call Monday or some other day. But the meeting is very important. I can't miss it. Did you listen to yourself? Did you listen to whatever came out of your mouth? In other words, you're telling me the meeting is much important than me, your husband. I didn't say that. The meeting is not important than you, but the meeting is important than this marriage. Mary, you're telling me the meeting is much important than this marriage? It means you don't respect this marriage? Yes, I would say it and say it again. Because if I wasn't working, you wouldn't have gotten married to me. What's all this? You have the guts to use your left hand to talk to me, your husband? You want the regret for saying this to me? It means you respect your job more than me. Neither the marriage. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! 
Even his hair, the cream he's using for his hair. Alfred, I'm just sick and tired of the whole thing. Honestly, I don't know if he thinks because he's handsome or I can't leave him for another man or something. I just don't get it. It's not easy. Maybe we could not but sometimes we have to one. Oh, also we need to hear. Maybe we to solve. The same to me. It is only to hear. I don't know if we have to solve. No more than that. That's right. All right. Hmm? At least you are married. Oh, look at me. You're not married yet. So imagine, starting from here. You can imagine when we get married. What will happen? Am I the one going to sponsor him, or is the one going to cater for me? Tell me, is it going to be like this? Yeah, I can't take it anymore. Honestly, I'm just tired of the whole thing. Oh. Seriously, I can't take it anymore. It continues like this. Aze, Aze, I don't know, Since morning, you cook. Why this and why cook? I don't know. You can't say that you can't answer. I don't know, Sama. Cook, why won't I be cold? Why won't I be cold? After our problems in the house with my wife? Then I mean, you dress smart to my client? Cook, I've said what I'm supposed to say. I've done what I'm supposed to do. But this fucking lady wouldn't listen to me. I see. Just how we did it, damn it! Ah, who's walking to where you're fucking? Who you're fucking? Oppa, wah wah wah, I don't know that way, Chino. Who's walking to where you're fucking? And that means who's walking to where you're fucking? And just how we did it, what? Huh? My brother, you don't understand. She doesn't want to be controlled. A life without instruction means you are living a life of distractions. So what you fear now? Who can control? Now some person who can be controlled. Now why you struggle here? It means you are going astray. My brother, 
Into a semi so fucking at the man. But in your mind, to turn up and so. To the sense that I have to do what I'm supposed to do. But if it's sometimes going out to buy food myself. When you go to bread, as soon as I allow to bread, then she gets her from the bread. Come and sit on her computer. All that she'll be doing is just be monitoring what is on the PC. To tell my baby, oh my beautiful son. Do you call this marriage? Je <laughs> All the advice he gave to us is about time we need to work over it. Don't tell me I can say, Nyamiyadu, you have no problem. Everything about you is perfect. Mr. Nyamiyadu, there's no problem. But it's about time we need to get time for ourselves. I guess I'm in the same programs we bring the minimum I'm saying that I need to. But one doctor speaks that sometimes on CT you also can. In the before, I'm only trying to tell you, say, Nyabrema, Take two months leave from your work premises. Not in a fee. Half time for yourself and half time for me. That's why I called you. Imagine I brought someone two years leave for what? I won't have the man. The demand are two different things. It has him no quite for two years. For what? Maybe. Have a help those who help themselves. I saw a sure what you were born. Into more pen or born with Drew. So, woman who crying, oh, boom, could you just ring me? I've never seen you praying before. You don't do it. And he said, Doctor, now my eyes are here, say, Yan Tinasi, nay, and shedding a mebaya. It's not a crime. Any taboo. The only thing is, she two months live. Ever since I mean, who I'm not enough for the past four or five good years, and me, when you live with that, who five years live at the hotel? Every year, be a one month, two weeks. And it's only two years of a leave, Grana, and you require about three months. So, why can't you take such a leave? Now, can't your boss? It's about time you need to have time for yourself and have time for your husband. I've been to make for two years. I'm in bed, finance, and because of you, I'll be a bachelor man there. I can't lose my job. For what? All right. I can't. All right. Mavis, don't forget this. Ever since I got married to you, not a single day, my castle is not with you. Don't forget, say, Ding Azin, a dear mood. I respect you as my wife. That's why, whatever you say, sometimes try to keep me. But you one day regret it. I'm done. Babies. Babies. Why are you not talking? Are you okay? It's my husband. Are you listening to yourself? So because the husband says she should stay with him, so she has to stay in the house. And be what? Housewife. You just sit the man down. If the man still insists, sit your head, man. I will advise you, say you have to stop. And be a housewife. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Listen, don't stop working, okay? Continue to work.
Sahina, good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm good. good. I'm good. And the reason why I called you this afternoon is that and the, the important meeting about the whole thing is concerning my wife. Oh. Of late, things have really changed in the house and whenever I talk about it, it becomes a problem. So I know you being the boss, you can chip in. Okay. So concerning the time she leaves from the house, she leaves as early as 5.36. So based on that, she doesn't even prepare breakfast for me before leaving. Oh, okay. You're talking about the attendance. I want attendance. To... I mean, over the past four years, her punctuality to work is so amazing. And I think I have you to thank for. I hear. Thank you very much. And aside that, she's a married woman. So if a married woman is supposed to leave the house without preparing breakfast for the husband, it's a problem. Sorry. Which is, of course, sorry, sorry, it's, sorry, it's, sorry, it's, sorry. it's really a problem. I understand. This issue has been bothering me for some time now. I've spoken over it and still, she's still at the same position. So for you being the boss, you also have the same situation? You yes, no, my, my case is different. When I'm not going home very early and I'm going to be late, my wife will bring the food to the office. That sounds very good, but roughly, I beg of you, would, can you please give me some time? We, we would look at her schedule and then see if we can give her one hour earlier to get to the house and then do something for you. <laughs> it's still the same situation because, you know, doctors advise that we shouldn't eat in the night. And if she's close around 10 to 11 and you are giving her one hour before the time, the difference is she might get home around 8 to 9. So which, what, what do you suggest? Hopefully 7, 7 30 wouldn't be bad at least. I can eat and take some oranges, another bit. Sweet after months, which will clear something because it's really pissing me off. I beg of you, boss. I, hear, yeah. I, I will look into the matter. Okay, I I'll you. look into the matter and then I'll get back to you. Okay. What is good about this evening? Mavis, what's damn good about this evening? You go out and come and greet me good evening and you expect me to respond by saying good evening, sweetheart. Mavis, you have to tell the church. And you better change from that stupid attitude of yours. It's just some bad feeling. Look at what the time you are coming home. Traffic or cool, so many people are five years. I'm doing my best. I'm not 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 You've got the opportunity to even leave your car in the house. It's a pressure, Mom. Seven talk come on ya. Never do maybe a couple of days of I don't feel like driving. And I'm boss. Maybe see me feel. Look what she's saying. Look at what she's just saying. You don't just feel like driving. And two fifty now pressure. Who planned to make man? Now come to make my credit. Who boss in your car? You're about to see who get her. What is wrong with it? You've got an opportunity and you are misusing the opportunity, Mavis. You have damn got an opportunity and you are misusing the opportunity. She dressed her friend, you want to be. And you will see from her two person, you will boss and watch it. You will boss and watch it. Mavis, if you don't change, I will change. If you don't, don't change, I will go ahead and change.
You are telling me to go and rest for 30 minutes and go to restaurant with you? Me so beer. You don't do anything in the house. The washing machine washes my clothes for me. Mary, you are them getting on my nerves. You are getting on my nerves. Suck to marry. Sometimes you make things so difficult for us. Ah. Mavis, you are here telling me I'm making things very difficult. I am a working lady. Oh, look at what she's saying. Look at what she's saying. Today, Mavis is telling the whole world that she is a working lady. Then you have to do the responsibility as a working lady. You have to buy it for yourself. You have to do and pay the utility bill yourself. The dress that you wear every day, I buy them myself. You have to buy them yourself from today onwards. And if you don't change, from today onwards, I'll change this damn shit house. There is a saying that two masters cannot control one ship. My father, Eta Kassim, Mr. James Robertson. Well, see, the good things are written on sea, but the bad things are written on grass. The good things about her is when I go bankrupt, she supports me. When I'm dying in need of money to clear my goods from the port, she supports me. I pay her back when I'm done with it. And so many others she supports me, but I pay her back. I have no comment about that one. But the bad aspect about her is that what I'm telling her to do, she's not doing it. I've said this a thousand times, but this lady is not willing to change. And these are the things I'm complaining about it. But if she's not willing to accept it, my dad always says, one day you go know that this is advice from my father. My father advised me I did not listen to you. My brother, you get into my room. Whenever she's okay, she can come. That's it. When the customer will train tea. Hey, tea was my worker. Because something now you say is rubbish. I worry, we don't talk about degree. I worry. 
You don't dare talk about degree. You have to calm down and listen to whatever your husband tells you. In a way, we don't talk about degree at all. Even if your husband is totally bankrupt, will he be? Will he should He supports you in so many angles. What I say? But whenever I speak, this thing is not willing to change. Me, my feelings is not from the job I do. My feelings is not from the job I make. My feelings is from you getting a time for me and to be prayerful for me. We will see. I rest my case, my brother. <laughs> I said I don't have any problem. So what are you? Go on into them. Oh my god. I'm in the house. I should have thinking of myself. Yeah. I beg of you, just a minute. Just a minute. What is it? Yeah, hello. Aze. What is it? Can't you see me talking on phone? Don't you distract me. Now that's spoil my mood. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. I'll lose all it. Whenever you are ready, just give me a call and I will attend to Taking some microvenic up and eat it, and she wouldn't do it. It's then no food in the kitchen. Actually, that's what I do normally. Because um, whenever I'm leaving the house, I make sure I cook something. Just so that when my boyfriend comes to the house anytime, he can get something to eat. Yes. It's just that you just open the fridge and whatever you want to eat, you get it in the warm it up. There he goes. So there's no problem in the house. Mm, Fred, I just want to be full and go to bed. Don't you have any food stuffs in there? Everything is in the kitchen. Uh, okay, I'm ready. I'll try and get something for you. Anything goes? Friend. 
Oh my god! What do you think you are doing? Now get out of my house! I know what I'm saying. Either you do it or I throw you out myself. Can you tell me that your daughter and your husband is more important? Boss, you know I prepared your food in the morning before coming in. You know, since your daughter is she's too young for me to give out to you. That's the reason why. Are you not married? Are you not married? I am, but I try to be here at 6 early in the morning. This should be a reason for you to always be late. Maybe you don't have a daughter, so you don't understand what I mean. What are you trying to say? Boss, I'm sorry. She's married. She has a husband. You have a husband. You cook, she cooks. I said, what's your problem? It's as if you don't want the job. Do you want it? Please, it won't happen. It better not. Because if it does, you are out. If it does, I promise you, you are out. Are you clear? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. What's that? What, what is that? What, what is it? You are a woman, you're supposed to understand me, okay? You have to be on my side. Maybe you don't have a child, that's why you are doing that. When you have a, your own baby, you understand what I'm going through. Why should you bring a child issue into this conversation? What? But what you are doing is not fair. You are a woman, you're supposed to be on my side. Oh, 
just say this part is in the car for a time, yeah. Yeah, well, it's not so. Babies, it's in the brain, pan, or the story of fear. I shot at me. I fall back. Send it, dear. Oh, I'm putting it here. I'm just wrong. I'm going to be a number of you. No one said me a very good song. I don't say that I'm a fan of you. 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 That myself, do you know what really transpired between the two of us when you were not here? You don't, so you will never understand what I'm talking about. So I'm telling you to let her out. It's as simple as that. This is my house, whatever I say is fine now. You do it and do it better, or else I can't do that myself. So do it if not, I'm gonna surcharge you for that. Honestly, I'm lost. I don't know why your husband is implying. Maybe you are like a sister to me, okay? And there's nothing going on between your husband and I. Nothing. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Yeah. You see me off. Hmm? Oh, that's the truth. See me off before your husband comes out and scream again. She has said so many things about you, so I'm really glad to meet you here. This is your house. You have the audacity to go wherever you want to go, okay? I beg of you, you have no problem at all. Feel free and live with us. Thank you. Okay, sweet, I have an appointment, so I would love that you're going. So we're going to move in. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Sandra, Sandra, I am. Me, 